Oh no, in terms of backwards compatibility, Xbox is leading uh, Sony in terms of playing old games on your console. People are like, but they're old games, why does it matter? Okay, they're old games, you know, but a lot of people like these old games, okay? That's why people love the virtual console. I wish the tale just kept the virtual console and just allowed you to transfer your games to the Wii U. And 3DS from Virtual Console to Nintendo Switch. So we don't have to go through this catastrophe that's the Nintendo Switch Online's backwards compatibility. But Sony has always been, you know, not doing that well with backwards compatibility. Yes, you can. not And at least in 2015, no, 2020, not 2015. 2015 was like 10, almost 10 years ago. But it was at least in 2020, a year later, the console proved itself place over your pussy to give it three forward. Dual Sense offers a new way to simulate the series senses as well. And it has a pre yeah, a so called oppressive launch that you can play as Spider Man, but he's, you know, Miles Morales instead of Spider Man. Yes, that's a great launch title. Okay, you're playing the same game. Right? And Jay, I, I, I find it that Sony Fat Boys were bragging, oh, but we have Spider Man. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, they have the same game, but you can play on the PS4 as well. So, what was the point of that? Was really a great watch that was also very, very well on the PS4 as well. But yeah, and it's backwards compatibility, compatibility you know, it's somewhat primitive considering, considering the compared to the such as the Nintendo Switch, even though the Nintendo Switch is not that great because you have to buy a actual service to, but even then, the Switch, if you actually buy it. Service, even though it's not that great, you can still play NES Super Detail games and S64 games on there. No GameCube and Wii games yet, but I bet eventually, because I think Nintendo's gonna probably, you know, continue the service into the next console, which means all the games available on the service will probably be playable on Nintendo's next console as well. Because I think Nintendo Switch Online is something that Nintendo wants to put on. More and maybe the Tales Switch is gonna, 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 gonna be like the Tales Switch and all the Tales Switch games will probably be available on the next console and it continue expanding their backwards compatibility lifestyle. But Sony has always done a biz movie in terms of backwards compatibility. For example, The Last of Us. Okay, if you know the Microsoft doesn't need to port Halo 1 through 4 again on the Xbox Series X, they don't need to. But Sony is like, you know what? Oh, uh, people love The Last of Us. Uh, uh, let's make a $70 version of the same game you bought twice. Okay, uh, you know, and the same thing with Ghost of Tsushima. And, you know, they made a $70 port of Ghost of Tsushima. Death Stranding is another game as well. And the only way to play older games is to subscribe to PS Now, which is available in one reason. It works great for games like The Last of Us and Mafia, which are beautifully poured through PS4. But plenty of games are left in the past because of PS5's lack of backwards compatibility beyond the PS4. It includes games like Metal Gear Solid 4 and GTA 4. And of course, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is basically playable on the Xbox Series X, but not playable on the PS5. So that means you won't be able to play, fight against Armstrong and all of his greatness on the PS5 as well. So yeah. Xbox Series X is an S. Basically, every game that has been available throughout the backwards compatibility, you know, every game that's been added, you could play on the Xbox Series X and, of course, all the Xbox One games as well. Well, basically, except for certain games as well. And I think Overwatch 1 will soon join that list of games as well. But, yep, that are not playable on Xbox One no Xbox Series X. But why is it so poor? Okay, why is this so bad? Okay, why is this so bad? Okay, you know, playing the PS4s, PS3s, you make so Sony, you know, blah, 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 as well. But again, you know, as well. And same with the PS2 and PS1. Even when you could easily just make the games downloadable for like a service or something, like, game, like Microsoft has Game Pass. But Sony is just so lazy nowadays. They, they got, they got, you know, you know, Sony has never had a console that hasn't done, you know, compared to their expectations. Okay, PS One sold a hundred million, 100, around a hundred million copies. I think the console sold. PS Five greatest selling console of all time. The DS came close, but still the greatest selling console of all time. PS Three sold around the same amount of consoles as the Three Sixty. PS Four best selling console that generation, doubling the sales of the Xbox One, and. PS5 is doing around the same numbers as the Xbox Series X and S, but slightly better. Okay, but slightly worse than the PS4. 
So it's still on track to sell as much as the PS4. Or at least around the same amount as PS4. But backwards compatibility is one issue that Sony has, you know, not done too well. Okay. It has not done too well at the PS and the backwards compatibility. The, the only thing is you could play PS4 games. Okay. Which means if you have a PS4, there's really no point upgrading because Sony has poured your know, Horizon for Ben West, a game that should be, you know. Again, Microsoft has also put Halo Infinite on the Xbox One as well, you know, which, you know, means that, you know, there's no real difference. So there's no point of criticizing Sony for the same things that Microsoft does. But most people who play the Xbox One and Xbox Series X, most both consoles, play games for backwards compatibility. So yeah, you're able to play a lot of games. And a lot of people play as Microsoft that they add games with backwards compatibility as well. And the only reason why PS4 games are able to be played on PS5 is because, of course, you know, the console architectures are extremely similar. That's the only reason you can play them, okay? And Nintendo was the only other console, and Microsoft the only other consoles that, you know, makers have done backwards compatibility. Of course, the 360, you can play original Xbox games on the 360. And, of course, now you can play out with Xbox games on the Xbox One for backwards compatibility. Mostly the big games, but they're still adding games to backwards compatibility. It's not like, oh, yeah, we're not making games for backwards compatibility. So you want to play Kung Fu Panda for the Xbox 360? Tough luck. We already done with Xbox 360 compatibility, backwards compatibility. And they're also adding to both Xbox One and Xbox Series X as well. Because, of course, if you have an Xbox One, you should be able to play those games as well. Because, though... Because even there, even though Xbox Three One is last gen and they discontinued the console, doesn't mean they'll still stop adding games for backwards compatibility. Because they probably want to, they probably won't stop until we have added or, or basically every single 360 game to the Xbox One for backwards compatibility and it was an Xbox game. And the same thing can be said of the Xbox Series X and S, where they're adding every single Xbox game. And I think the reason why the digital console is doing much better, the Xbox digital console, the Xbox Series S, is that. People who own Xbox Series S don't have to worry if they get Game Pass. If they get Game Pass, they don't have to worry about, hey, oh, but I have to, you know, pay full price for every single game because they can just buy games at like Game Pass. When the game reads Game Pass, they can buy at an extremely discounted price that they want to get that, keep that game. So, really, you're having a better deal if you get the Xbox Series S on Game Pass and places in four digital, places in five digital, which is just. You know, you have to pay $60, $70 for each game and the rest are on sale. There's no service for the PS5 Digital to justify its existence, which is why the PS5 Digital has failed as a console. Okay, the PS5 Digital, I think, is, good, is not, it might be discontinued. You know, I wouldn't be too surprised if it does because it's not really doing too well as a console. So it's still selling out, but because you can't even get a PS5 Digital, but even then, you know, no, there's still stores where they sell PS5s, and there's and no one's buying the PS5 digital version because there's no re, there's no real reason to buy a PS5 digital version. There's no real reason to buy a digital version because you're really just getting a that's a console that can only play digital games as well. Well, you don't have any service to back it up or anything that you, reason to buy it yet other than hey, it's this digital console. But yep. That is it about this one. The PS5's backward compatibility is not done is not done too well. You, the three other con Sony has three other consoles full of history as well. And the only way to buy some get some of these games is PS Now. But even then, Sony, unlike Microsoft, has had greed when it comes to backwards compatibility with the older console. Okay. Will we see another version of the Last of Us Part 1 that no one asked for? Uh, we have seen seventy dollar version of Ghost of Tsushima with slightly better graphics, and we see the you know, seventy dollar version of Death Stranding. It really shows that you know Sony is just really greedy at this point. They're, they're paying seventy dollars for games that were easily accessible on the previous generation of console. they easy. These are games that were easily accessible, especially The Last of Us. The Last of Us sold like ten to fifteen million copies on the PS4. Okay, there was no point in making The Last of Us for PS5. It makes sense they put Last of Us Part 2 because that was released by the end of the life cycle. It makes sense why they put Ghost of Tsushima released at the end of the life cycle. They wanted to give people more, more of a chance to play it. Okay, but Death Stranding, another game that's been out for years for the PS4. Okay, they really think that people are going to rebuy that game. 
for the PS5. Thus for slightly better graphics. And some people do. There are people who are obsessive with graphics. But a lot of people who play a game, they play a game and beat it and they don't play it again. Okay. And unless they want to re- speed run the game or play it on YouTube or something like that. You know, a lot of people just play the game, beat the game, go on to the next game. That's basically how it is. Because there's still tons of games to beat. Of course, there are people who beat the same game more than once. You know, those are like the super fans of said game, you know, as well. You know, they add new twists and turns to it. For example, Pokemon is, is one example. Yes, they beat the game normally, but then they beat the game using, you know, new rules like Nuzlocke and stuff. So really, you're adding something new to Pokemon. And yep, that's basically what this video, and yeah, well, we have, oh wait, we're not talking about the video, but yeah. Yeah, that's it about this here, but yeah. You know, not many people really play a game twice. Not many people really beat a game if you, I beat Halo Infinite. And I'm, I was surprised that only 10% of people actually beat the game. Of course, most of the people bought the game for, the, you know, the multiplayer. But really, only 10% of people who ever played Halo Infinite Beat the campaign of the game. Of course, you have to pay sixty dollars to play the campaign of the game, and not everybody's gonna be willing to pay sixty dollars just to play the campaign of Halo Infinite. But yeah, and even then, if you play other other games, for example, Tomb Raider, only forty percent of people really beat the game. Yep, only forty percent of people beat the game. So yeah, only forty percent of people actually beat the game. So that means you know, if you beat a game, you're in the minority of of players. As well, so a minority of gamers actually beat games, which is pretty hilarious. As well, so yep, let's play through this video. Goodbye.